Hi everyone. I had a couple people um, ask me to explain a little bit better how I did the binding or the hinge on the um, little retro um, book I made and shared. So as you can see, it is just plastic packaging. And I like to reuse things when I can instead of sending it to the landfill or trying to get it recycled if I can use it myself. Um, so what I did was Saturday, my holiday and Halloween um, new distress crowns arrived. And I don't store mine in the packages. They come in, I keep them in something else. But these packages are pretty nice. And this piece here is um, like a hard acetate type piece. And it comes on here, it's like this fold it over they have the little hang tab on top so the first thing I did was just gently peel this piece here away from the back of this acetate piece and that piece just goes in the trash um this piece is more of a flexible type plastic not an acetate so I kept that piece and this has a hang tag on it and I cut that off well this one I accidentally cut it too low and I cut into the actual plastic here so I couldn't use this one for for the hinge but or the book binding but I kept it anyway um I might find another use for it so anyway what I did was like I said I gently removed this piece from here and I cut off this and then what I did is I just folded it over like this and I just cut mine right there to even them out so then I had this piece here left so like that and I did that for three of them so it's three of these in here so let's just because I'm not going to make a whole nother book to show you let's just pretend these are my book pages here so what I did and of course they would fit but what I did was I just layered them like layered them, sorry, like this. So this would be my front cover. When you flip it over, I will put my next one on like that. So that they would line up. And of course you wouldn't see this piece here because it would actually fit. So for this one, because if I do the same thing here and here, then I think these two pages wouldn't these two pages would be attached these two pages would be attached but then this one wouldn't so what I did was I had another of these of course so let's just pretend I have another one so that would be this one let's just say this is another two piece one like this what I did was I just attached these two together and then I did the same thing I just put my TV on the front, TV on the back, and same thing with the next one. So then when the next one came, I did the exact same thing. I attached two together, and then I did my front and back. So I hope that explains it. So I'll try to show you a little bit better on here. So this is the first tab. So this will be, it's folded like this. So this would be the front and back on here. Then this one would have another of these attached to it. And then I would put the TV on the front and a TV on the back. So then when I got to this side, there would be already one here. I would do the same thing. I would attach the other one of these to this one. So then I would have two, and I'd have a TV on the front, TV on the back, and then I could do this side. So I hope that explains. So it's basically three of these attached together. Every other one is attached to the other one. And that's how, how that is put together. And it makes a really nice, flexible, strong binding for a, a little flip book like this. And then I just used some twine to kind of fancy it up. I wasn't really wor that worried about it because it looks really neat anyway. Because it's got this little like 
almost like a fake sewing edge on it it looks like so it worked perfectly like that as it is I just added the little twine and and um um stuff to the side just for decoration purposes so I hope this explains a little bit more about how I did the binding if you have any more questions just let me know in the comments and 